Good morning, interwebs. It's 11.15 and I'm sleepy. <laughs> I should have gone to bed early. I didn't go to bed till like four. And then I woke up, I set my alarm for like five because I needed to help my computer along in its process. <laughs> and I did, and then I woke up this morning um, a little after Steve got home. So like, I don't know, 8.20, something like that. But I'm up, around. And we've already had breakfast, and I've uploaded my Aldi haul, and I was just editing the vlog for tomorrow, and I realized that I'm publishing vlog 180 today. That is crazy, 180 of these. It's just weird. Steve goes, hey, that means you have like one per subscriber. I said, I'm at 183 subscribers. He said, always got to keep ahead of that curve, huh? So, I know I'm averaging about one subscriber a day. Not that they're adding at that rate, but it's just kind of funny that per daily vlogs, it's kind of the same amount. So that's kind of cool. Theoretically, as I uh, have more days, there will be more people watching. And hopefully that is beneficial then to more people. I don't know. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with my morning. I'm going to finish my tea, go make another cup. Pet Jezebel, who's deciding to be kind today. Hi, Jezebel. Then, I don't know. I need to grab some schoolwork because I'm being hassled that the kids want to do school. And then um, probably work on my shawl because that sounds like fun. And fun sounds like a good thing. What I really need to do is write up the pattern for my next pattern because I have one due. I'm going to try and have it done Wednesday. That's four days. Four days to get a pattern together. I'm sure I can do that, right? which probably means Wednesday night, I'll be talking all about how I have this thing due on Thursday. <sighs> Not very good on the whole organizational thing. I really should work on that. Maybe, maybe I'll try working on that a little today. We'll see. So today, Steve has been working on painting thresholds and drawer fronts and trimmy type bits. And now he's installing this little uh, thing that I bought. It's a kitchen caddy. It was meant to hang on the wall like that. Like on the side of your pantry door or your oh, cabinet door. Oh, that makes door. more sense how the way it's set up then. Yeah, it's so that's why the screws don't work quite as given. So it's supposed to hang like that on your wall. It'd be like a little baskety thing. But instead I have hung it over my sink. That way I can keep like my scrubbers and my little scraper, and then they will all drip into the sink so that that water will be good. And I think, then I'm gonna try and hang my little scrubby brushes. But I think this is gonna be a good solution and hopefully keep like my scrubber from being covered in oatmeal all the time. Gotta love having your seven-year-old do your dishes. You find some strange things that way. But yeah, now Steve's trying to make it more secure, but he is a, uh, was confused what it was about. Whoop, I have no where to put my foot. <laughs> so our house is constantly attacking me with step stools. We have three of them. And they and they literally in every room of our house. And somehow they're under everywhere my feet want to go. Like I like them for the fact that they give the kids Mine. the ability to take care of many things on their own because then they can reach them. I even use them lots, and in the new kitchen there will be multiple reasons why I need a step stool regularly. But what I don't need is to walk backwards and fall over a step stool regularly. But that is what happens many, many days. Just some uh, ordinary stuff in my dishwasher today, because you know, ordinarily there's <laughs> covers for light fixtures. About to go and uh, put these up. Steve put up my new old light again. So I'll show you what the result is. So I don't remember if I showed you earlier, but Steve hung um, a new light fixture for me in the parlor today. This had been just like hanging out. It was an old fixture that had been in our old kitchen, but it hasn't been connected in several years since he put in the, I guess it's been connected in like a year. So we put in the ceiling fan. We took it and it's just been hanging where it was in place. So we put it in here. We, uh, we got a plug yesterday, day before, at the restore. So we put a plug on it, and so now it's just plugged into the wall. And then I brought one of the cat beds in here out of the guest room. And Manelia's already taken up residence. 
And Jezebel's kind of hanging out, so I'm kind of thinking I might bring another one in here and see if the cats like it. My cats didn't used to particularly like like things like beds, but I think it's part of their their old age and maybe just the extreme cold that they um they seem to like it now. I don't know. It makes them happy, right? So it is 12:37 and I'm just sitting here watching a little YouTube. I like organized the mess that was my desk and I'm working on a uh, another one of those ups and downs hats from Moogly Vlog. My hope is to get, I have the red set and I want to get the set done on Boysenberry and maybe one more and I want to um, like lo like list them on my Facebook page. Um, just to like let some of the local people know that I have some things available for sale. Because um, I haven't posted anything in a little while. So that is what I am working on. I'm going to throw the vlog together and hopefully be in bed by like, I don't know, 1.30ish? Maybe a little later, we'll see. Finish my cup of tea. And the cat has now moved from one bed. She got up and like headbutted me a bunch to the other, which is kind of silly, but she seems so happy. Are you happy, Manelia? Are you toasty? Are you unimpressed? I think it's probably that last one. So anyways, I guess I will leave you all here Hopefully tomorrow will be a productive-ish day. There's some more things I'd like to um, clean and organize in the kitchen. You know, slow and steady is kind of how we're going. Hopefully, I just feel a little more energetic tomorrow. I will be less exhausted tomorrow for sure and less stressed out because, I don't know, I was just a little stressed. But it is past, mostly. And I'm enjoying working. This um, Red Heart with Love is just very very pleasant and this boysenberry color is just super pretty so you know it's always fun to work with something that not only feels good but looks delicious so that's that and i will see you in the morning nighty night